It's a pleasure to see you again here in this edition of Kanta News. Let's begin by looking at the headlines. Official dispatch number 4578 on speeding up COVID-19 vaccination in Kanta City. Gairang District Party Committee organized a conference to evaluate work in nine months of 2021 and disseminate mission orientation in the fourth quarter. Inspecting the implementation of Directorate No. 06 of the Municipal Party Committee Permanent Board on enhancing party's leadership in the prevention and struggle against corruption and waste and practice saving of the District Party Committee. On October 7, Standing Vice Chairman of Kantan City People's Committee Yung Teng Hing signed official dispatch number 4578 on accelerating vaccination against COVID-19 in Kantan City. Accordingly, the city's People's Committee tasked the Health Department to direct Gunther CDC to proactively consult the City People's Committee on people being vaccinated and vaccine distributions to localities according to each vaccination phase, mobilize state and private health facilities to moderate vaccination for the localities. The City People's Committee tasked the Department of Information and Communications with coordinating with Victor Gunther to train and give specific instruction on the application of information technology in vaccination. It also tasked the people committees of the districts with developing plans and making preparations for vaccine rolled out according to the Health Ministry instructions and the city's vaccine allocation. Further boost vaccination for people over 18 years old with priority given to people over 50 will increase one-shot coverage and give the second shots to those who have had enough wait time after the first shot. On October 8, the Permanent Board of Garang District Party Committee organized a District Party Committee Executive Board Conference to evaluate work in nine months of 2021 and disseminate mission orientations in the fourth quarter. Member of the Municipal Party Committee Permanent Board, come standing Vice Chairman of Kantar City People's Committee Yung Teng Hing, attended and provided instructions. The Party Committee of Gairang District directed the learning and grasping of the Party Congress resolutions of all levels to 98.6% of officers and party members. It admitted 62 new party members, equivalent to 62% of the plan, presented party badges to 29 members and carried out three out of five contents of the inspection supervision program. Industrial construction output stood at over $13,000 billion, or over 87% of the plan. Trade and services reached about $10,000 billion, or nearly 76%. Cultural and social affairs received attention. Pandemic containment was synchronously and effectively carried out. Political security, social order and safety was upheld. Speaking highly of the results, Standing Vice Chairman of Kantar City People's Committee Yung Teng Hing directed the sectors and localities to continue striving for the dual target, especially come up with plans to accomplish the unmet targets, appoint officials according to the stipulated procedure, boost budget collection, ensure basic construction and local security order. On the same day, October 8, the Inspection Delegation No. 308 of the Municipal Party Committee Permanent Board, led by Head of the Internal Affairs Board Nguyen Tong Nhiem, came to inspect the leadership and organization in implementing Directive No. 6 of the Municipal Party Committee Permanent Board on enhancing parties' leadership in the prevention and struggle against corruption and waste and practice savings of Gada District Party Committee. In 2020 and the first six months of 2021, Gada District Party Committee directed the learning and grasping of Directive No. 6 of the Municipal Party Committee Permanent Board to its officials, party members and staff and implemented party's guidelines and state laws on preventing and fighting against corruption and waste, practice saving. In the first six months of 2021, the district saved 10% of its regular costs to reform salary payment with a fund of over 7 billion Vietnam dong. Minimize the expenses for the organization of conferences, seminars, guest receptions, utilities, and stationaries, and saved 3.9 billion Vietnam dong. Prioritize basic construction for essentials and urgent projects that benefit the district's social economic development. Saving was done in verifying the estimates and payments, saving over 3 billion Vietnam dong for the state budget. 
administrative procedures, estimate allocation and expenditures were made public. The declaration of income and holdings of civil and public servants were done as stipulated. The Inspectorate of the Municipal Party Committee Permanent Board requested Gada District Party Committee to promote the achievements, focus on enhancing the role of top position holders in offices and units in executing the assigned tasks, synchronously carried out anti-corruption tasks, further inspect and supervise as well as self-inspect and self-supervise to prevent corruption, enhance political and ideology education for workers in the public sector. The representatives of the Coordination Office for New Rural Building in Kansas City has just had a meeting with the leaders of the People's Committee of Thái Lai District on the implementation resource of the criteria of the Advanced New Star Rural Common in the area in 2021. According to the plan in 2021, the two communes of Dong Thung and Trung Thang of Thái Lai District strive to meet the Advanced New Star Rural criteria. As of now, Trung Thang Commune has essentially met 18 out of 19 criteria. Dong Thung Commune has met 17 out of 19 criteria. At the meeting, leaders, the professional sectors of Thái Lai District and the steering boards for new star rural construction in Trung Thang and Dong Thung Commons also discussed and proposed solutions to achieve health insurance coverage of over 91% as specified by the end of October. At the same time, soon complete procedures for submission to the city's council for verification. The representatives of the Coordination Office for New Rural Development in Kansas City highly appreciated the results of the advanced new style rural construction of Trung Thang and Dong Thung communes and urged Thái Lai District and the steering boards of the two communes to continue improving the quality of the criteria that have been met, especially for the criteria of income, traffic, production organization, environment and maintaining security order in the area to soon be recognized according to the plan. On October 7, the 13th Congress of Bentway District Women's Union, term 2021-2026, was successfully held online and was broadcast to eight locations in the wards of the district. For the 2016-2021 term, the Women's Union of Bentoy District achieved eight out of eight targets set by the resolution, of which five over eight targets exceeded. Notably, the District Women's Union have had 315 out of 370 female-headed households escape poverty, developed and maintained 15 effective economic models. Over 95% of the families meet the criterion of 5 no, 3 clean, and 100% of its members participated in planting thousands of new trees. With the achieved results, the District Women's Union has received many certificates of merit from all levels. The Congress of the Women's Union of Bentoy District, term 2021-2026, identified eight main targets, tasks, and two breakthrough stages, promoting the application of information technology in directing and organizing the union's activities, diversifying methods of gathering women, building strong branches and associations. The Congress elected a new executive committee consisting of 15 members and elected 20 delegates to attend the city-level Congress. In other news, on October 7, the Youth Union of Pacific College coordinated with the Youth Federation of Omom District to present gifts to disadvantaged students in the area. The delegation presented 10 gifts of rice and essential items, each worth 500,000 Vietnam Dong, and three scholarships worth totally of 21.7 million Vietnam Dong to needy students in the words of Thái Eng and Eng Hoa. The fund for this activity is sponsored by Pacific Education System. Meanwhile, the pioneering Youth Council of Top Nob District coordinated with the District Children's House to organize the program called Sharing with Children Overcoming the Pandemic Together at the Medical Checkpoint at Vam Gombridge in Top Nob District in the framework of the program for supporting children returning to their hometown along with their parents to avoid the pandemic. Here, leaders of the district pioneering youth councils and the staff of the district's children's house presented 460 gifts of cake, milk and drinking water to the children with the total fund of 8 million Vietnam Dong. The Association of Asian Orange Dioxin Victims in Kansas City recently coordinated with Gerda District to present 14 scholarships to students who are Asian Orange victims in the district. The Association of Agent Orange Dioxin Victims in Kansas City offered 14 scholarships along with notebooks and school bags with 12 million Vietnam Dong of total value for the children from primary schools to high school. 
The Association of Agent Orange Dioxin Victims of Kata District also presented six scholarships towards 500,000 Vietnamese each to the children. This is an annual activity of Kada Association of Agent Orange Dioxin Victims to take care of the students who are Agent Orange Dioxin Victims. The Association of Agent Orange Dioxin Victims in Kantha City has also presented gifts to students who are the children of Agent Orange Dioxin Victims in Garang District on the occasion of the 2021-2022 school year. 11 beneficiaries in Garang District received 11 presents of cash, school bags and notebooks worth totally of 30 million Vietnam dong, mobilized and sponsored by the Association of Agent Orange Dioxin Victims in Kantha.